Hi folks, welcome back to Station Ears. Today we're going to build the new kind of beacon that's been in the game for no, not too long now. Um, it's a replacement for the tracking beacon, or in addition to in fact, and one that you can actually wire into your base and have it permanently as a tracking thing, so you can always find your way back to the base and provided that um, your, well, your power doesn't run out essentially. And because these things, these batteries in a tracking beacon do run out very quickly, so you can, well, you can, you can barely use it. It's terrible. Ugh. Anyway, so let's some, um, oh god. We're going we're gonna to build it in the fabricator, which, as several people pointed out in the comments, is still kind of stuck slightly in the wall. But I believe it's still probably going to be functional, because if things come out of here, that's not going to be a big problem. Um, so we're going to have a look at here. I've built the computer since the last episode. Um, I've got myself a... Um, get closer. got myself a little um, um, fabrication motherboard. I think a manufacturing motherboard, it's actually called. Um, so I was just yeah, I was playing around with this chemistry station. Don't want one of them. Fabricator. And we need to go down to Kit Beacon. Uh, for some reason, things are still filed under K. Lots and lots of bloody kits, which is rather pain in the arse. I'd rather have it as Beacon brackets Kit. Anyway, so what do we need? We need four gold, two copper, five steel, and two solder! Right, so we've never made solder before, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse, uh, because it does require using the actual furnace. Uh, do I have any actual steel? I've, I've made so yeah, Oh, I've got one gram of it. Ah, so I don't, um, yeah, I do need to make some more steel. I think I've got, I think I've got the ingredients. Yeah, I've got the ingredients right here in my thing, so I will be able to make some steel. But I will need to um, go outside and use the furnace to get to make the solder. Now, um, if we just get out our, what do we call it? Uh, we need. I think I've got the wrong thing in here at the moment. Yes, um, I better better put the drill away for the time being. Um, let's get out. Uh, network analyzer. Replace it with. I think it's the e-reader. Uh, put that in. Close that off. Switch it on. And we need a what do you call it? A, an ingot of thingy. Solder. Have I gone past it? Yes, there it is. So there's two pages of this. Um, makes one gram of solder. Yeah, no. So it, um, we need to get the um, the furnace to a pressure between three hundred and three and a half thousand, um, and the temperature between three hundred and two thousand, um, which is a bit more. Um, difficult than steel, which requires just basically anything, pretty much. Um, well, it's, it's got a mi bit of a minimum, but beyond that, um, it's really quite easy. Um, but for, um, for this also, we need iron and lead um, in equal quantities. So, I'm, I'm going to grab some of that. Let's just switch that off and put it away. Don't need that for the time being. So we have been, I mean, I've been getting quite a lot of stuff. Um, I believe we've got hmm, not a huge amount of lead. Um, I don't want to go, just in case things go hideously wrong. Um, I am going to only do a certain amount. Since we only need, what was it, four um, ingots? I can't remember now. I think it might have only been two. But I'm going to make five. Let's put that away. Do, 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 do. Go to you. And what else do we need? We, didn't, we needed some iron. So, once again, we'll just get five. Uh, oh, there it is. And I'll put that in my backpack, kind of here-ish. Go on, get in there. There we go. So I've got the right in with stuff like that. Um, elsewhere in my mining belt I have oxides and volatiles in completely wrong quantities. And apparently for uh, solder, if you want to do it the quick and dirty way, which we've got to because um, my furnace isn't still wired up, it's still not wired up properly because I haven't had time to actually really get into that. Um, I'm going to have to do the quick and dirty way again, like we did with steel. And apparently for this you need, in, right, whereas steel requires one oxide and two volatiles to get up to temperature and pressure, um, the, for solder it's the exact reverse, apparently. Uh, I haven't actually managed to do this yet. Um, so it's two oxide and one volatile, and you need to set off the furnace with. Um, so we'll be doing that, which means we need to go outside. Uh, oh, um, something else from the comments. Um, with the hydroponics, apparently I do need to supply it with water rather than, I think, power. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about that because I don't really see the point. And I was actually playing around with logic as well. I tried to make an LED light that switched on when outside the sun was up. So I was using a daylight center, sensor and some logic I.O. Um, but couldn't quite get it to work. I need to rethink that. Um, otherwise that would have been a bit of an episode as well. Um, but sod it. Actually we are using power, aren't we? Even though the lights are off. Uh, that can probably turn off. Uh, I suppose it must be night outside then if I'm... Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, so the, the big trouble with him, the whole um, oxide and volatile thing is I'm trying to juggle them around and put them in the furnace. 
um, in the daytime. They all melt. I was half tempted to put the furnace in, in a basement downstairs, but yeah, it didn't really matter too much. I just don't think I need to take anything else out. Because I'm going to make some um, solder, and if I can get the right temperatures, I'm also going to try and get some steel on the go as well, because we will need that. I've only got one gram of it otherwise. Iron, iron, silver, steel, and more iron, and some dash sheets. So I definitely didn't have any silver and um, steel in spare. I feel like I should move this thing forward, but I'm not going to. Nah. I think we should be okay. Put my helmet down. Cycle to exterior. Let's see if it looks like the daytime out there. I really can't tell. Tumpty tumpty. Oh, there we go. And that's open. Right. Good. Oh, it is actually night time, so we shouldn't have to worry about things too much. Right, let's try and get this... I'm trying to remember how to, how to, how to bloody well do this. I can't remember if you put in the vo ice and volatiles first. Uh, we haven't quite got the... Right, hang on. So we need um, two oxides. So let's quickly split two off. That's not how you do it. <laughs> I pressed the wrong thing. Um, hmm. Power low. Oh, power's low. Right, that needs to go back. Where's it gone? Oh, poopy. It heated up. Oh, everything's... Is the sun coming up? I think I'm just getting too close to temperatures. God damn it. I'll have to go down my hole. Yeah, I have to be very careful with this stuff. Alright. That's two oxides. Alright, that can go back into... There. And... Then we do... That. Oh, we only need one for that, don't we? Nah, I'll just leave that there. It should be. It should survive. Right. Shouldn't really have to worry too much about the power thing. Right, I, I need to actually build a ramp or something, because at the moment I'm having to stand on top of this thing. Well, it's really hard. The jumping thing is so difficult. It is. You get stuck on stuff so easily. Look, I can't jump now, because I'm, because I'm next to it. Oh, come on. Just jump up in the f air. <sighs> Why doesn't it let you jump when you're so close to something? <laughs> Flip it, egg. Oh, I'm. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Stop. There, you little twat. Get in. Get in. Now we need that and that, and theoretically. So it's gone up to pressure 2000, temperature 1300. Um, temperatures... That's fine. I believe I can do this. Uh, solder! Got it! Right, so we've still got 1400 and 1000. So can we do the... The steel requires over 100 pressure and 600... Yeah, we can do this if we're quick. Let's give it that. Put the coal in. So we'll be able to get 50 steel out of it as well. If it hurries up... Oh, dicks, it's gone through. Oh, flip. Ah. Dicks. Oh, I didn't close the thing, and now I've, I've just got bloody... A complete waste of bloody... Oh. That's really annoying, because I haven't got any more. Hang on a second. Is that not, have I just got an ingot of coal? Oh, no, it's an ingot of lead. Okay. Oh, the coals, I think, I'm... Hang on, lead? Okay, I know what happened. It wasn't coal in the first place. Um, I thought I'd set it up so I had coal and iron in that backpack, ready to actually make the um, steel as well, but apparently I'd actually um, got two lots of bloody lead. Uh, that's fine, um, because we don't actually need this other lead for anything. And I can always put it in the centrifuge, I think. I think you can centrifuge one thing. I've, never, I've only ever put reagents into that. Um, I can t take my helmet off. So, I don't know, whatever. Um, I might as well put that in my back. Um, yeah, my backpack. So we need some coal. I'm afraid the temperatures is we haven't got the right temperature at the moment. Uh, we have still got some spare stuff in there, so we will be able to make some more. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to make a huge. I don't know. I'm trying to just remember for this for the steel we need um three iron and one coal. So let's take put it in there. Let's take fifteen coal with us. Um. So I just need to split, probably split half, and split a couple, put that back, 
and then pick this lot up. And there we have the right ratio of that. And then we can go outside and make steel, but also we'll need to swap out some hot battery action. There we go. Don't worry, Fabricator, you're going to be you soon. Stop staring at me like that, you big empty-faced prick. Right. Unfortunately, now I think the um, sun might be up. But, eh, whatever. We can do. We can still juggle around with the um, volatiles and oxides. The only trouble is now, and um, there's already pressure in the thing, so I'm not quite sure how adding more stuff will actually... Um, um, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Put my helmet down again. Right, so hopefully this this actually may take a bit of time. If, if the sun's up, it's going to take a bit of time. But, oh, and ah, we'll see. So at the moment, the um the pressure's high enough for steel, but the temperature isn't. It needs to be up to 600. Uh, is there any way, actually? Oh, hello. Oh, there's the um there's the um, INR. Uh, right, I actually don't need that at the moment, because I've got the right ratios on the go. Is there any way of actually getting rid of the bloody... I don't think there is. I think that's now stuck there. So um, if I do a quick and dirty try and bung in some oxides and volatiles, maybe that'll work. Um, if we can just bloody well... This is happening again. There we go. At the moment this... Oh, god damn it! The arc furnace is switched on. It shouldn't be. Uh, I think there's a bug. Um, since last time, uh, that, that whole thing that we were doing, it no longer seems to work. Uh, the the switching on and off thing. I think an update might have changed things. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly centrifuge. I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm going to centrifuge... Ah. Oh, no, apparently it can only take reagent then. So once you've actually ingoted, by the looks of it, there's no going back. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Never mind. Right, let's try and quick and dirty this um, furnace back up to temperature. I'm not quite sure you can do this, but we'll try. We're going to do it very quick as well, because it'll... Uh, it's, you already see it melting. Right, so... We need to bung in that. And... That. And once that's in... Once that's it... Hmm. Maybe it's melted. Maybe, um... Maybe you can't do this, then. Because I should be able to activate it now, but I think the, um... God damn son. You're bugging me up, haven't you? Well, let's get the reagents. Now I can do some centrifuging. 60. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. God damn it. In you go. In you go. Um. Lads. Is there no power? Why is this not working now? Ah, oh, it was never on in the first place. Hup. Hup. Right, I've got my 45 and 15 back. I might as well switch you off again so you're not drawing. I mean, there are only tiny amounts of power. This is why I don't really care too much about this whole wiring thing not working, is because I think we've come to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter if you switch it on or off. You may as well just leave it on the whole time. It draws so little power when idle. Um, anyway, now I think I just need to wait now, don't I? How many solar panels have I got? I've got six. I can't remember if I did that off camera or not, or whatever, but yeah, there's now six up there, so we are getting a bit more power than we used to. I um, haven't bothered doing the um, logic computer or the logic circuits to try and activate that yet. Uh, it just seemed to be a whole thing that... Nah, <laughs> just build more solar panels for now. So the trouble is, at the moment, I just don't have time to actually um, spend hours fiddling around with this between episodes, which is most annoying. And because I actually that's, I do need to do that um, for some of the more complicated stuff, like actual probably wiring up the furnace, because... It's got an output, it's got an input, it's got things you actually put in and things that come out. You need to make all these valves. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. But, yeah, that will require a lot of experimentation. I'm using this precious time to go mining for copper. Keep forgetting how just how much more pleasant it is mining in the daytime. So often I go at night and then just run around un unable to find anything. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> totally. I'm going to get out of here. The light is now fade thing. Did a lot of mining here before, I think. Sod off. There we go. Where's the base gone? I think it's over there. Switch that off. Yeah, there it is. 
So the sun's going down now, so we can get back. Uh, but we do. I, mean, if, I think I'm starting to need to go further and further afield for certain things. Uh, there's no volatile really close by. And copper, I mean, I just came across a whole great big seam of it there for the first time in ages. But that's proving to be difficult. So we do need this beacon to be basically on permanently so we can always set off. And careful, careful. Oh, God. Landscape's a bit treacherous. So we can set off and always find. Well, not have to worry about it, basically. I don't like having to switch things on and juggling batteries the whole time. Right, so I've got myself some volatile as well as a copper. So I'll go down my pit, even though I probably don't really need to now. And get rid of my mining thing. I really should put that in the belt, shouldn't I? But, yeah, whatever. I kind of like having instant access to it. So I just need to do a bit more splitting up again. Right, so we've got darkness again. Let's start, hope this time I've got things sorted. Oh, it's not... Mm. Jump, you... Ah, oh, it's okay, I can do it. I can do it from here. Just a lot easier when you're higher up. Right. Right, so at the moment the pressure is it's fairly low. Um, we should be okay for steel, so long as we just add to it, I think we should be okay. Um, I don't really want to put one in one thing at a time, just in case things don't go quite right. But let's try... Right. You? Oh, no, 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 no. You. Then we need to go... Put in you. And eventually... Fuck. You. I think about I've got away with this. 45. So it should produce steel. But it's not working. Why isn't it working? I mean, what's the pressure like? We've got... It's okay. But why isn't it activating now? What's wrong? Lack of oxygen. Press the button. It's just... Work, you sod. Maybe already done it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just um, ignore my blathering. Right, got steel. We've got the carbon. So, um, is there anything else I can make, actually, whilst the pressure's like this? Um, let's have a look at the list. We've got Electrum, which, if I put in gold and silver, that we... Oh, the pressure has to be below 2,400 for that. For Invar, um, which requires iron and nickel... Um, the pressure is actually coming up to the correct thing, but the temperature is too low. Um, Constantin requires the pressure's fine because that's anything below ten thousand, and the temperature oh that has to be just a ten well one thousand to one thousand five hundred. So again, that's not quite in range. So there's nothing we can there's no n more stuff we can do. Anyway, we'd have to go inside anyway. Right, so we've got steel and we've got in fact we could just do this, can't we? We've got steel and we've got the ingots. So we actually have got everything that we need now. Actually, what about gold? Have we got enough gold? God, I hope we do. I've got plenty of copper now, but gold might be a thing. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's try and make a thing. See if we've actually got the space, even though it's pressed right up against the wall. And we'll move that at some point. So we need gold. We need solder. Let's put the solder in first. I'll put the computer right in front of the inlet. That was, that was a mistake. So okay, if we bring this forward, it won't be a problem. So that's... There we go, it actually says, look, we've got enough. Uh, steel we can put in as well. Ah, oh, that's okay, we can do that now. And now we just need gold and copper, which we've had to take out of this machine. We really don't have much gold at all. That's the next thing we go mining for. And I think, we've, I think this should be enough, what we've got. Just. There we go, all the ingredients there. Um, how do you actually make the damn thing? Well, you turn it on first. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go, look! You could only make one. Do 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 do. Loading, please wait. Ah, let's just spat it out. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't need, I mean, functionally it's fine. It doesn't need to be pulled out against the wall. I might do, for aesthetic reasons, I might do something about that. But don't hold your breath, mate. Right, let's see what the, be um, the beacon looks like. Not too big. I don't really want to put it anywhere that's in the way. I mean, I could just put it on top of here. Or I could just put it on the wall like that. There's a data port, but we don't need that. We just need the... We might put it on the roof. Oh, <laughs> going to bash my head on that. Gonna nut me bonts. Don't want to do that. 
I just realised I'm actually doing that thing, aren't I, where um, I'm using my helmet light instead of the glory that is my big button. Oh, yeah, of course it's not going to work, because I've just undone the wire. Right, so we need a four-way. I'm not sure if I've got enough. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it only requires two. Beacon on. Hang on, why is these lights not on? Why is nothing... Why is only this lit up? Hang on, I know why. Hang on. There we go. Just needed a bit of toggling action. Ah, uh, there we go. All rather lovely and lit up now. Uh, we've got ourselves a little beacon. So, let's switch this off because we don't need it. So, this is a good opportunity to go and get some gold and some... Well, we don't need a copper. We need gold. And we'll need to actually sort out the furnace outside. Unfortunately, as I say, I'm not 100% sure it's actually working because of um, weird updates between episodes. So, we may have to... Um, do this manually by going outside. Let's have a go. Oh, there's already something in there. Hang on, let's... So this needs to be switched on, doesn't it? Apparently the furnace is already switched on outside, but noticed that earlier. Right, so... Yeah, that, should, that has taken it. I can put the iron back over here. Um, switch the computer on. Which it actually needs to, be, needs to actually do, doesn't it? Conditions, it's... Currently on. We're currently on state one. Uh, shoot being open is false. Uh, I need to rejig it, I think. That should send it to state two. And it's gone to state three now. So it's not idle. Oh, it is, no, and it is idle. It's not idle. So it's actually working at the moment, in theory. But. I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to spit anything out or not. Um, anyway, I'll take... I haven't got enough gold. We'll need, to, um, we'll need to get the gold from outside. So what we need to do now is get our tracker out. Um, just have to do rejigging. Re we need the tracker. There we go. So take out the existing thing. Oh, we need to, we need to probably replace the battery in this. So swap those round. Uh -huh. Take that out. Put that in there. Grab that. And there, we've got a nice full thing on this now. Tracking beacon. It's the wrong one. I think that's them. I think let's switch this on actually temporarily. Um, get rid of that. Four meters to that beacon. Now, if I scroll wheel it, that's me. Ah, the other kind of beacon. And there we have it. Distance, four metres. I'll turn this one off. In fact, I could dismantle this completely now. I'll take the battery out and bung that in there. Because that's no longer needed. Bit of a relic. Let's get rid of it. Not using that. Hmm, what do I use? Screwdriver? What do you use to get rid of this bugger? Sure, it should be the drill. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I can't work it out. Um, it's, it's there for the ages. It'll be our little monument. Right. So you can, I can go outside now. I can go mining with impunity. Provided that, yeah, the power holds out. Mm, let's put my visor down. Switch the lights off, and let's go mining. I think we've got the um, the start of the day, which is incredibly handy. So that's... which one? Beacon, there it is. So we don't actually need that on at the moment, so we can actually put that in our backpack. I should have actually left all this stuff out, shouldn't I? Uh, I'm going to go in for a direction that I don't usually go in, so there's more chance of getting new stuff. That seems reasonable over there. Now the one thing that, I mean, what I'm more at risk of, now I can easily find my way back, what I'm more at risk of, I guess, is running out of um, power in my suit battery, because I've, got, I've already got a medium um, amount of power. So in a, in a sensible world, I'd bring a spare battery. Um, as for the oxygen in my suit, that keeps on sort of, I mean, like I'm complaining, 
I've changed the filter, the carbon dioxide filter in my thing, but that doesn't seem to have really helped, but that'll occasionally happen. And I can always just flush the helmet, and that seems to cure things. Let's get my drill out. Oh, that's my tape. Um, and I also need to swap in my mining belt. So it'll automatically go into there, won't it? Oh, I didn't take anything out. Uh, hang on. I think what I'll do... I shall dump that, <laughs> frankly. And also, I've done this with the volatile. That's just taking up room at the moment. Off you go. A little bit of oxygen there. A little bit of atmosphere. Anyway, I can still just about see the base, so this is a. It's not exactly in the spirit of the whole thing at the moment, but yeah, we'll do it. We'll get moving. So we need, ideally, we need um, gold. In fact, we definitely do need gold. So let's get a little bit of iron. Just get a stack of iron. In fact, we've got so much iron we don't know what to do with, so... No, I probably won't bother getting any more. It's iron for days all of a sudden. Switch that off. And, dear. Ah! <laughs> that was easy. Maybe not very much of it, but it'll still do the job. Now, gold seems to be trickier to mine, I'm sure of it. So what else do we need, generally? I could do with more lead. Just because um, I buggered up the last lot. I'm not quite sure in what circumstances we'll need more solder, though, because we've got so much of it at the moment. But all useful for the part. And I haven't found a use for uranium yet. Nah, whatever. I don't think there's any more gold there. So, oh, God, there's just gold everywhere all of a sudden. I mean, we got 16 out of that last lot. So this is all very handy for the pot. Do I need more coal? I probably should get some more. I'll just get some of everything that's... Uh, yeah. Gold. I think gold, coal, and lead, if I can find it, would be the handiest thing. Hmm. Pinnacle of copper. Oh, it's iron, sorry. Don't want that. I think I've gone quite far afield. I've no idea where I am now, but that's okay. I don't mind. I've been getting, I've got a lot of stuff. Um, I've transferred a lot, to my, a lot of it to my backpack, so I've got a little bit more room. Still haven't found any... Oh my god. I've gone a long way. Look at that. Hasn't even loaded in. I um, still haven't found any um, nickel. God, there's a thing of uranium down there. In that huge chasm, which I'm going nowhere near. Apparently, um, the terrain has been improved. In a, th It won't be this one, uh, because this is still an old save or whatever. But apparently there's um, better terrain generation now, um, if you start a new game. So I'll be interested to see what that's like. And now, the c Fortunately, the sun is going down, so it's now kind of hard to see. Might actually want to put my... Um, there it is. I don't think I'm going to find much in the way of a nickel in the in this steaming darkness. Oh god, yeah, that's the that's definitely lights off. Right, so I think that's some um, our cue to actually go back. I mean, I could actually mine all night. Well, I don't think I can actually because um my power switch. Oh, that's nickel. Oh, it's nickel. Um, yeah, I'll give it a bit of nickel because that is useful for. Um, invar, if I ever want to make any invar. Apparently there's like nuclear batteries you can make, portable batteries which are incredibly um, good compared to la large batteries, and they require some of the exotic furnace material. That can probably wait until I've, um, I've wired up the furnace properly. Right, that'll do. Right. Time to go back. Oh, that's over there, apparently. <laughs> Wouldn't have known that. 345 metres. Alright. That's not too bad. Actually, there's quite a long way. Yeah. I don't think you really ever need to go, you know, like, absolutely miles away from your base until later on. Um, I guess it's um, making a beacon, a, a proper beacon like this, is not exactly beginning game stuff, is it? It's, you have to learn about furnaces and stuff like that, so it does come at the right time, I guess, in terms of game um, ordering, progression and whatever. Anyway, let's get back. I've still got plenty, I've still got enough power and air, which is I'm, I'm pleased to see. Mm, I think I can see it in the distance. Oh look, there's actually a mountain of copper right here. I didn't realise it was any so close to the base. Nah, whatever. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to worry about that. More copper. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I left the I left the drill on. May as well grab it. 
Okay, so, I mean, there's not much else. I mean, that's basically it. I think I've demonstrated the beacon in perfect working order. Seems to be still all nice. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at the arc furnace. Um, just to see what's going on with that bugger. Oh! Oh, bloody hell, that's some... That materialised out of nowhere. It's like a floating pad. Yeah. I know there's not much air on the moon, but that's just ridiculous. Right. Well, we've come from a different side to normal. Uh, I think we need to go around this way. Oxygen low. Flush helmet. Oh, but drill. that wasn't flushing helmet. <laughs> uh, flush. Low pressure. There we go. Oxygen critical. Right, let's have a quick look at... See if this has actually worked from when we put the thing in. No, it didn't. It didn't activate properly, so there's something wrong now with the whole... Um, computer type stuff, the logic. Uh, considering I haven't actually changed it, that's most peculiar. Um, anyway, I need to do the same with the gold, um, so we'll actually have some gold. But we'll stop here. Um, so, yeah, we'll pick this up in again in, in soon. Not quite sure when the next episode will be, um, depending if we've got time to actually um, do the research for it, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, um, consider it coming at some point. Um, if, if not in a week's time, then maybe another time. But, yep, um, do subscribe to find when the next episode goes live, and I'll see you next time.